Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Blood with me, Bring It On. Let's collect a few rewards. Three hundred Arcanium. Another volume of the Encyclopedia. Attack damage and attack speed. And we'll speak to these two up here. Who comes knocking on my door without an invitation? Sorry to interrupt you, but we have heard that you were in company of an old friend of ours not long ago. Who wants to know that? Stop screwing around. Just tell us the whereabouts of Raz Duval. <laughs> I see. So, you must be the boy he told me about. So you know where he is. Why did he meet up with you? Don't be so pushy. If you don't want to end up as a frog. Well, we are old friends. And he requested my help. Your help? Well, your uncle, if I may call him that, wanted to enter Riverrun. There are not many ways to go there unharmed. Walls to the north, walls to the south. The only pass is through the mountains, guarded by soldiers. Get to the point. Ever wondered about those portals on your map? I see. So that was his plan. Using the portal north of Friedheim to Riverum and search for Aura. Exactly. Using the portals is not too hard if you know how. Us Northland witches have kept this wisdom for hundreds of years. I led him through the portal. Why waste time? Bring us there as well! You need to be more patient, boy. Back to the story. I led him through the portal, but... As could have been expected, it was guarded and Razduval was caught. I barely made it back alive. Rumor is that he is imprisoned in Rotberg and waiting for his execution. Sounds bad. We need to rescue him, please! I've seen it in the bones. It is too dangerous now, but we still have time. Show me your hideout, and let me gather strength for a few nights there. We will figure out a plan on how to rescue your old friend, I'm certain. We... Oui. You heard right. Or who else do you think will guide you through the portals? I hope she's another healer. Nope, oh, a summoner. But it's possible her summon heals. Alright, so we have enough encyclopedia volumes to recruit this guy. But first... Noki. Noki's age is unknown, but his halflings are said to age slower. She must be older than a hundred years. Obviously she is a witch, but as it turns out, a kind-hearted one. The loss of her siblings has driven her at least a tad bit insane, and she only talks in gibberish rhymes. It's not true, we just spoke to her. Her abilities allow her to summon all kind of disgusting animal friends, which she creates out of pure arcane energy. Children of the Swamp. Noki channels the arcane winds and summons two frogs with 12 hit points and basic attacks that deal 24 skills with AP physical damage each. On death, the frogs explode and deal 24 magical damage to all adjacent enemies. Sunbather, this person loves the sun. Curious, insectoids are not only disgusting but quite interesting. And friendly, this person is liked by animals and vice versa. And life, summoner, halfling. Alright, so we will head straight for ability power here. Yeah, we increase those both by 10. And this by 5? I think it was at 12, right? Either way. Unbelievable. The Encyclopedia Athenia. You really got the whole set. 
I'm impressed. Impressed enough to join you for hunting even the rarest of books. The Demonicum Arcanus. It will be a pleasure for an old man like me to go out on some missions with young folks like you. Yeah, sure. You're invited. Alright, finally got a second mage. Alright, Ignis. The nowadays incredibly old Ignis has grown up in the surroundings of Deridolor. His thirst for wisdom sent him on a journey throughout the whole kingdom. There are not a lot of great works left he hasn't read. He'd give anything to get a glance on those remaining. So Highlander, the closer to the sky the better. Educated, of all the folks, it is a wildlings which needs some education. And wealthy, absolutely scared of any criminals. Pillar of Fire. Agnes releases a huge pillar of fire at a spot and all the neighboring tiles inflicting 156 magical damage. As much AP as possible. So you came to challenge me to a fight? <laughs> How delusional. Send me your best fighter. I'll teach them a lesson. Yeah. Oh, let's see what you've got. All right, Thorbin. So 16 attack damage, 3% life leech. Let's give him this. This item feels so empowering. Alright, so we'll recruit that guy. Samson, how are you coming along? We are trusted. We're getting close to finishing Samson, so I think we'll send someone on a quest here. I'm not sure if I've read this one. I might not read the yellow descriptions anymore since they are generic and random. Two more, I'll send him and an assassin. So armor, crit rate, all right, so that goes to Fenya. Right across the board. Attack damage and life leech might be worth giving to... Oh, we don't have any archers in this party. This comes in handy. Yeah, Blinding Light might be worth it on the Assassins, because they jump in the back line. If the enemy has like a full back line, you can just cast it across it. Hit all of them. Uh, she needs ability power. That. Alright, and we can do another one. I don't want to commit to a full dungeon. Let's grab the one in Mieselheim. Stone Giant Mayhem. You have done well. Perhaps you're to be trusted. I just got word that we need to double our weapons production. It smells like something big is about to happen. Anyway, we need more iron ore. There's a plateau near Mieselheim that is inhabited by powerful stone giants. Get rid of those beasts for us, and you might get a good payment in trust. Alright, so support will be our front line. Grab our mages. Healer. Archers and Archer. They need ability power as well. We don't have any more to spare, unfortunately.
just be a single target. So we'll give our AP guys the single target stone strike. Just keep them stunned. Have her revive allies if we need to. I'm going to sell these earth walls and the lures. I'm not only they're worth keeping. Uh, what else do I have? Probably won't need to use it, but it's good to have on hand. Oh, that's right. We have a ton of level ups to take care of. This guy likes ability power. And we have... I want to work our way towards this one. A more attack damage for her. More health here. Great chance. They can't get to there. We're seeing. I'll grab the attack speed, we'll work our way up here to get to the focus, regen, and the ability power. Ability power for Pori. Give him some attack damage. Give him critical chance. Ability power for Yasmir. And we're all caught up. Alright, we can unlock a new city. Oslingen. Oslingen is a small free city to the south of Riverum. It is an agrarian city where impressive herds of sheep once grazed the fields while farmers tended to their crops. Unfortunately, those peaceful days have come have become a distant memory since the sudden arrival of the savage orcs of Zarok. The orcs gleefully terrorize this poor city, plundering the farms, murdering innocent and seemingly non-stop waves of carnage. The constant threat of yet another orc invasion looms over Oslingen, but the nearby army of Riverum refuses to lend aid. In fact, the soldiers are part of the problem, often stealing from the city as they pass through on patrol. After the barrier flickered for the first time, most residents fled the city, having suffered enough. Those who remain live in constant terror, Mentally shattered husks of their former selves. Wait, wanderers. Remove those shackles from my wrists, will you? The villagers have caught me and left me out here to starve. I am from the east, from a world behind the giant's belt, outside the barrier, and under constant threat of demonic influence. Tell you why I'm here, but our motives might align quite well. Free me, and I will serve you until my mission has been completed. All right, let's rescue him. Thank you. You will not regret your decision. Another summoner, orc, and storm. Tunnel rat loves to hide in tunnels. Faithful, by Morial the Great, the undead have to rest in peace. And Entophobia, sorry, Entomophobia. This person is scared of insects. Not much is known about his Shoga, but the fact that he is an outsider. He came from the outside world behind the giant's belt, and searched for refuge within the barrier. He seems sinister in everything he does, and his intentions don't seem necessarily friendly. Is he really to trust? One thing is for sure. He has a strong motivation in keeping up the stability of the barrier. And Puppet Master. Shoga summons a minion with 60 HP, with basic attacks at dealing 15 magical damage, and attacking the enemy farthest away when being awakened or reaching full focus. Alright, so he wants as much AP as possible. Health, magic resist, AP. I right, let's go straight up this way. Health, magic resist. And focus regeneration. 
health regen. Then we'll just go straight across here and then down this way. What a convenient skill tree. So, you also share the interest for fine literature? I do. I enjoy romance books. What is your favorite genre? <laughs> Don't tell it to anyone, Millie. But I love reading a little bit of romance as well. So I'm actually going to put him in front, because he should take 50% less damage. My tank actually isn't good against this guy, because Storm benefits from attacking light. But we should be fine. I guess I didn't have to waste resources there. We're gonna win even if I didn't heal Holdor. Also, a ton of level ups. Like, Pori got two. Which I think Magnus got two as well. Okay, big fan of uh, Mighty Ring of Shielding. So, this also seems pretty solid. Let's go ahead and grab this for one of the archers. Wait for me. I got the squitters. Someone put marshalling corn into my stew. <laughs> Was it me? You! I am going to throw you into my cauldron after we are done here. Let's have him focus on the water guy. How many storm? I don't want her tanking that guy. There we go. That's a better setup, I think. I think she's just gonna go down, unfortunately. I could pop this, but she won't transform in time to save herself. Oh, he did the most damage. Well, I guess most of these characters are built to be tanky or to summon their summons. <laughs> so, I'm guessing the summon damage isn't attributed to them. Okay. Lady Power, Focus, Regen. Let's go with the Focus, Regen. We have a few summoners now. Quite a nice hideout you have set up right here. Thank you, but shouldn't we come up with a plan to risk arrest of all? Well, don't worry. I already have figured everything out. I saw a new traveling point right there behind the trees. We need some granite and arcanium to construct it. A traveling point? Yes, you heard that right. Basically, a small gate empowered by Thermotrogy, allowing you to jump to any known portal. 
That sounds convenient. Then let's do it. I just hope that she knows what she's doing. I can, like, zoom out, please. But I guess we won't. All right, Fenya. Two more critical chance. Magnus got two level ups. He doesn't scale with AP at all, yeah. Attack damage and attack damage. Cory, focus regeneration, health regen, we'll just work our way up towards this ability power up there. A Millie, health regen, we're gonna work our way towards this ability power and this focus regeneration. Serena, I wouldn't mind giving her some damage because her ability scales with AP and AD. I think at some point she'll need some focus regen as well because her ability is so expensive. I'm gonna grab the ability power for now. I might just max out this out of the tree and focus on giving her damage via items. Dorla. Let's grab critical damage. Not a lot of red nodes on her tree. Ignis. More ability power. Holdor. Max health. Points for Tara. Ability power and attack damage. Lyrica. Sorry, I was gonna grab this branch out from there. Cool. All right, we can unlock more cities. That's 100 per. Can't do Zarak yet. I guess we'll do Nijandria. Nijandria is an ancient city founded long before the Holy War. At its center, an enormous pyramid towers over thousands of humble houses that are connected by dirty and narrow passages, the city embraced by the dying sand. Nijandria's isolated location protects them from conflicts with the religious fanatics and Taurus. The Askin people of Nijandria's of Nijandria devote their lives to researching the aging runes engraved on the bright sandstone of the central pyramid. This may make them the only ones in the kingdom who truly understand the historical events prior to the Holy War. Many outsiders are terrified that their closeness to the barrier and their devotion to collecting this old wisdom is a sign that they are working to bring back the old days. Back when demons reign supreme. And Gorbarak. Gorbarak is a free city inhabited by wild but mostly friendly orcs. They are experienced hunters and gatherers, as well as experienced artisans who make exquisite tribal art and trinkets. Visitors can't help but spread rumors that these orcs, uh, thanks to Askia's religious influence, are performing dark rituals behind closed doors. The Wolf Clan of Aratka has tried numerous times to annex this rural city, but thus far, Gorbarak has emerged victorious after every bloody conflict with its independence still intact. Alright, take your word for it. Alright, let's do the Sanctum of Hope dungeon. And since it is a dungeon, we bring in our healer along. Talandros. It was strange that all those undead could get through the barrier so easily. Yes, the barrier has weakened. We're all in danger because the king refuses to hand over Grimgard to a possible successor. But still, we see a lich in our lands. We suspect that a warlock from Gorgol is shielding these undead. Perhaps he is trying to form a pact with a demon. He lives in a small castle, a little to the south. Go, overpower him and bring him here for further interrogation. 
All right, favored fighters. I will bring a couple summoners. He is not recommended. It'd be tough doing this without a healer, but maybe we'll be fine. Bring Orlish and Fenya then for the extra health. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so attack damage and attack speed. I wonder which summoner is more valuable. Another instrument to take some soul. Frontline's going to need the big heals. Have my summoners resurrect people when they go down. Been vulnerable. Give him that. Alright, that might be fine. We'll see. Then I guess we'll grab the quest for talk. Training the young ones. Becoming a paladin and entering the sanctum of hope is a great honor, even for us orcs. We train to be ready when evil returns, when the holy war returns. There are so many young orcs who aspire to greatness, but they need to hone their fighting skills. We're currently short of instructors. Perhaps you could give them a lesson. We don't have enough fighters for a proper front line. Bring a second mage and I guess Magnus. Give him the better bow. Alright, I guess we'll see how that goes. Though, someone could probably benefit from this. Very good. There should be enough granite for constructing the portal. There's a rumor that someone has bribed a group of ogres from Ultork to teach us a lesson. We need to prepare well or this could end badly. Hey crew, the construction of the portal needs tons of stone. We could acquire some stone by gaining some reputation in Ashalador. As far as I know, they sit on massive sources of granite. Sounds good. What about the Arcanium though? I didn't even know that stuff existed. What? I'm not sure either. <laughs> we have a ton I've of it. I've heard of Arcanium before. <laughs> Once again, I can be of service, I guess. Arcanium can be acquired by extracting and manifesting arcane powers bound with magical artifacts. You mean those that we sometimes find on our missions? Exactly. Though, for our portal, this might not be enough. We need something more powerful. But I already have a plan. Boy, Moyarl! This old lady's always one step ahead! 
I was told the orcs in Orktar possess an ancient demon skull. If we would help them out, they might be willing to hand over that skull to us. The skull hold an enormous source of Arcanium. All right, then we got a plan. Let's befriend Okatarar and Ashalador and hope we get the things we need to start constructing that traveling platform. Okay, can't zoom out. Maybe let me... There we go. I want to start the dungeon. Nimble Pants of the Runner. Movement speed plus 3, attack evasion plus 5%, max health plus 24, and armor 14. Pretty solid. Alright, so I'm actually going to call it here. Uh, next time we will take care of these two dungeons and I guess prepare for this invasion. Looks like it'll take them... I'm going to guess two turns to get to us. Which, we should be done constructing our uh, guild hall by then, so we can have a full party. Maybe we'll have a chance. We'll see. It is also at 430% difficulty, so. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind as well. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.